You don't make change by being quiet. You make change by being courageous and speaking up. We always say in this game is there's one thing you need, one thing you need with young people, and that's their trust. If you ain't got that, you ain't going nowhere. Because at the end of the day, they're going to walk off, and in their head, they're going to turn around and say, whatever. Um, and that information that you tried to give them that actually may save their life does not stick with them. Um, Mark came in and done. Uh, he did an assembly about, uh, first of all, about Kai and Prince and his foundation, and, and then he told us about how he grew up um, on the streets and how it's related to us. Uh, if you look past at all these knife crimes, you don't really see their families like coming up and saying this needs to end right here. Whereas Mark, like, he actually decided to do something about it, and he he didn't only say that by giving a speech or meeting these big people. Like he came to a school and actually decided to help, you know, the students. It's so important that we use engaging, relevant, and credible people to have a, a role to play in you know, this work that involves young people who have their own norms and values and beliefs and people like Mark can break into that and relate to them and try and signpost them to a more productive way of, of living. Mark Prince knows how to influence us either by picking, by pointing the what's wrong with us instead of asking the trainer. I've seen Mark work on many occasions with young people. What he's, the gift he has is actually the connection. He can make a connection with young people that I've not seen um, people of my age do before. Um, and they're prepared to open up to him. The things that Mark is doing, raising awareness about knife crime, speaking to kids, uh, making sure they're off the streets. And he's basically, he's, he's, like a, he's just like a friend. So uh, you can talk to him if you've got problems that you can't talk about other adults. And he helps you out. So. And he doesn't come into school only to lecture us, tell us uh, the same old things that our parents tell us like oh, you need to do a GCSEs and this and that. He lectures us but at the same time he trains us, not only mentally but physically as well. It's really been helpful and I'm not really sure what I'd do without the training. It, when I train, if I just let off a lot of steam and life isn't always great but it's nice having to train with you know, my friends and having Mark there as well, like, motivate us. It feels like a big family. Even though I hated every minute of training, it was Mark who was the one who said, don't quit, suffer now, and live the rest of your life as a champion. Mark, being a professional boxer before, uh, you know, the tragedy of his son, has realised that, you know, um, one, I get the attention of some people, because they're going to think, actually, what would make a man come out of retirement to then um, put himself under a lot of pressure training and then obviously into the arena of boxing and everything that goes with that. Well, that's going to catch people's attention. You know, it just shows his driving his passion for the issues, wanting to work with the target group of young people because he's an engaging character. You know, he's playing it out in, in a very dramatic way. He's literally walking the talk and... Um, I have an utmost respect for what he's doing. Um, he's been there, bought the t-shirt, um, and he knows his stuff. And if you don't know it, he knows people that do know it.